So maybe you are asking, is there a way how you can connect your new Osmo Pocket to an older phone with a micro USB? Yes it is, but it's not so simple. I know exactly what's bothering you right now. You have a new Osmo Pocket and you are unable to activate it because you don't have a phone with the USB-C or lightning adapter. Here is a Galaxy S7 Samsung phone with plenty of power but unfortunately with the micro USB connector. There is a way you can connect it but you just have to figure out the connectors well. I have already tried three types of connections but unfortunately only one works so let me show you how I did it. First of all, if you have a Mavic 2 at home, it's a win situation for you because there is an adapter that reduces the Type-C connector to micro USB directly. But unfortunately, only the one from Mavic 2 works. If you go uh, and buy a connector like this, which has a micro USB on one side and USB-C female on the other side, at first you can think that's exactly what I need. I can plug it in, plug it into my device, I got it. And unfortunately, you don't. Because this is just a charging adapter, there is no OTG function. As you could see, my phone was charging, but it also should run the DJI MIMO app. So this way it doesn't work, unless you have the original connector from DJI that comes with Mavic 2. So this port is not the port we are going to use. We will actually use this USB-C, because it has the same function as this one. So first I thought I will use my OTG cable for my DJI Spark, which has a USB-C on one side and micro USB on the other side and it just looks like a perfect cable. But when I try to connect it, it doesn't even charge. So the only successful way was to get USB-C OTG adapter, which is basically a USB-C on one side and big USB-A on the other side. Now we only need a charging micro USB cable that you already have with your phone. Be careful not to use a cheap cable like this one that only charge as well and doesn't transfer any data. Here's a good quality cable. First we plug the micro USB side to the phone and second we plug the USB-A to the DJI Osmo Pocket. As you can see the phone starts, the app starts, the activation starts and here we go. Now you just hit the agree button and your activation process will be done in no time. I will not activate it now because I have also another video in different language I have to shoot. So this was just a quick look how you can use your older phone with plenty of power to run with the Osmo Pocket or at least activate it. After you activate it you will normally see the picture and you can control everything on your Osmo Pocket as it would be with the USB-C. The only problem now is the cable mess and you also have to figure out the way how you're gonna hold the Osmo Pocket and phone together if you want to use them simultaneously to shoot your video. That's all from me, I hope it helped. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. We will test more the Osmo Pocket, mostly with the 3.5 mm jack adapter and testing different external microphones, wireless microphones, HDMI out, everything to see what else is possible with this device. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. Artless.io